Good evening, Jordan Trask here, reporting live. <laughs> I've been putting off doing a live video today. I just had a lot of stuff going on. My wife ended up having an MRI, and I'm sure no one's going to tune in. It's already past 10 o'clock, but I wanted to knock this off, to knock this out, cross this off my list to do today because, you know, about content is something that I'm really passionate about, and I understand how powerful it really can be. Uh, in every aspect of the customer cycle and also you know for your brand your branding your identity and ability to attract um, convert and uh, you know get customers to buy into exactly what you're doing so I did a, a little Instagram video earlier really touching on you know my strategy uh, to developing an about page uh, and really the touch points that you want to go down so I'm going to start there, but, um, you know, at the end of the day, we want to be able to help, or I want to be able to help you uh, create on-page copy that's compelling, uh, clear, precise, purposeful, uh, but it's authentic. You know, I think that's so important. And, uh, you know, so many companies rush through their website content with sales copy that they forget to really get in tune with the customer and, and their visitors uh, because that's a big step in the persuasion process is is just um, you know making sure that visitors can trust and believe you know the experience that you're presenting them with uh, and Nathaniel if you're watching right now man I'm sorry I'm gonna call you right after this but I had to cross this off so without further ado, you know, I really think, I really know that when you're creating an about page, no matter what business you're doing, whether it's a service company, a product, um, your uh, personal brand, or, you know, maybe a charity or anything, or, you know, anything else that you can think of, you know, the fact of the matter is you're always going to start with the why. If you don't have a why, um, a purpose for what you're doing, and you can't really uh, wrap your head around or have an understanding for you know what why you're doing it, then you can't ever expect p other people to. Uh, you can't expect, especially your ideal audience, if there's another company that's really confident in their why, it's going to be really easy for them to buy in and probably even pay more. So start with the why, the origin of your business. Um, you know, think about the opportunity. You know, where's the need at? Where are, you know, what's missing in the market? Is, is there a, um, a personal experience that you or your stakeholders or somebody else that you know uh, has gone through that really, uh, you know, gets the blood pumping in your veins um, that makes you want to do something about something? Uh, you know, I think a lot of people don't agree with this, but I think in order to really be successful to scale a company, sustain it, you have to have passion behind it. Not only just that experience, that uh, initial why, you have to have um, reason and, and belief that you're going to make a difference. And that's really what the purpose means, that purpose, passion, um, something that you can get behind and be bought into even when times are tough. because. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to have to pivot in certain points with the company. But what you need to convey or communicate to your customers or partners is that you're not going to falter. You're going to continue grinding. You're going to push forward because it's something that you really believe in. So that why, that initial why, you know, it needs to be clear. It needs to be on the about page. The second aspect, um, I guess the W of the five, is going to be the what. You know, what exactly is it that you're trying to do? What is it that you do? What are the specifics? What are the details? Uh, you know, what uh, is the process? What does it look like for the customers as far as the experience goes? You know, who is involved in those processes and why? You know, present some clarity on the about page so that customers have a thorough understanding of what, what's going to transpire when they buy in, when they purchase when they order one of your guys to come out to their house or whatever the case may be. Um, you want to make sure you identify these things uh, so that the experience isn't tarnished on the front end. Um, moreover, it really helps them understand, you know, what you stand for, you know, what your promise is. You know, I talk a lot about promise 
in most of my videos. You know, not only do you have to have your why, your identity, you know, um, that personality of your brand, you know, you need to be able to uh, explain to them what the promise is. So when you're able to promise them, you're able to show them how the what, you know, how you're able, you're going to um, execute that. There's a higher there's a higher chance they're going to continue to come back. So we'll we'll go ahead and move on from the what because you know there's not much else you can say to define that. Um, what next aspect is we want to go on to the who, you know who's involved. What are the stake? Who are the stakeholders? Uh, what are each of the individuals involved in the foundation of your company? What is their individual why? Is it different than your um, if you're the head of the company? If, if you're the business owner, is their why different? Do you guys complement each other well? Um, how did you meet? Um, is there something that they do well that um, you don't do as well that really flows into the why, the purpose of the brand, but also um, that benefits the customers? You know, what is their passion? What is their experience? And not necessarily experience, what have they experienced that's created their personal why, but what is their experience? What do they bring to, their bring to the table? What's their competence? Um, you know, a lot of people want to know what you can actually do for them. You know, a lot of people are starting to move past the whole, you know, this guy says he can do that, um, or he promises this and promises that, and, and I don't know if he's gonna come through. If they don't trust you, if they don't see that on your website, if they don't see that in your videos, if they don't believe that you can help them, then they're not gonna invest their money in you because there's so many people have been burned these days. So have, um, a thorough analysis on page on on site somewhere that shows the the credibility the um, accomplishments the achievements of each of the stakeholders uh, specifically you if you're the business owner or the business owner or you know the main personality of the brand next is the how you know how are you doing something different you know how are you doing it better um, you know how are you able to uh, I guess paint a picture of the future of your business and you know communicate that it's going to be fruitful i think a lot of businesses when they first launch they want to focus on just the service or the need or the opportunity in the market or maybe somebody else is doing really well and they think they can do it better if you're not actually diving into the how and differentiating yourself and you're just really creating uh, another option in the marketplace competition's higher um, advertising costs more, uh, your startup costs, um, you know, are going to be high there, but, but your value, your ability to scale and your um, ability to be valued is really um, going to become stagnant over time if you don't understand how you're going to differentiate yourself. Uh, what's the experience look like? What are the people, um, you know, all these things that we just listed off before, how do they all tie into your how and how do you strengthen um, the image, the experience, the identity of the brand, um, you know, by doing it better, by doing it different and really focusing in on the customer. The last aspect of your about page is the where, you know, obviously this is pretty straightforward, but if you only service Phoenix, West Phoenix for that matter, or surprise Arizona where I'm located, then there's no need to, try to target everybody across the globe, across the country, just to gain maybe some recognition, acknowledgement, or some shares or likes. You know, stay focused on where your market is. Uh, tell people that you're involved in the community there. Um, take pictures, do videos, um, go to events, and stuff that's within that community, within the, that service area um, that you're committed to serving. You know, there's no need to share, talk about, position, or promote anything other than the where of your business. You know, a lot of people like me, I'm going to be able to help somebody, you know, maybe in Toronto or, you know, in Hawaii, it's not going to matter because I can speak with them and consult them and create, I guess, you know, remotely. Whereas if you're a service company, maybe you're doing landscape. I love using that example because the competition is always so high in Phoenix, you know, Focus on your neighborhood, focus on your service area and promote there, be strong there. Because when you're able to execute in those areas, um, you know, tell people that that's what you're about initially, then you're going to be able to start uh, looking at the future and understanding what the horizon actually looks like. 
uh, what areas of opportunity are outside that initial service area, um, and then and then worry about that when that happens. But initially, your about page needs to be focused directly on the why, the what, the who, the how, and the where, um, and then really wrap it all together with a call to action or something that focuses, I guess, on the best time for somebody to hire or to invest in you. You know, what are what are different scenarios or situations, I guess, that somebody would need you that um, you would really um, benefit them at a, what time? You know, what time of day, what time of the week, what time of the month, what time of the year, um, whether it's a flat tire, whether it's something has to do with the car, um, something has to do with their house, maybe it's a breakup, um, you know, issues with the spouse, maybe, you know, it's when a child is born, maybe it's during a move, um, maybe a natural disaster, you know, think about all the different scenarios that can happen that somebody's going to need you and make sure that you're really focusing in on those opportunity areas. Um, and then really the last thing I wanted to touch on is being able to structure your about page so that it's engaging and that it's uh, credible and that, um, you know, it's easy on the eyes and not really overwhelming because I think a lot of people, they want to cram all this information and as much information as they can about these five, five or six things and they forget about the, the customer experience, the user experience on site. So initially start with your value propositions, which um, initially is going to be the what uh, and the how. You know, allocate everything, all the categories, all the statistics, data, um, you know, I guess initial prop propositions within those two categories and figure out what are the top four or five. List those first, you know, really short descriptions and then, uh, or really, I guess, um, short initial statements, uh, bold statements, attention grabbers, um, and then underneath do a nice little description of what that looks like, what that means, um, you know, how you're doing it different, all those things, make sure it all funnels together basically into your identity. Next, you want to talk about your why, you know, your purpose. So you're grabbing the attention with the value, right? And then you're you're really um, fine-tuning that or putting the cherry on top by saying this is the why. So that people understand that you're bought in, like I said before, that they that it means something to you. Um, then you want to jump right down to the who. Um, you know, obviously, list your team, list the uh, ownership, uh, stakeholders, managers, whatever the case may be. Um, list as much information as you can about them. Let people get to know them. Because the more they feel like they know them, the more they'll trust them. And then when they see them, it's kind of more of that personalized experience that uh, people remember. Um, then right below that, tie in the remaining, um, you know, from that part down to the bottom of the page with your other what and hows, you know, that you didn't list initially that are the biggest value propositions. And then uh, round out the page with the where, like really, you know, it's structured just like I had already mentioned it where you're serving, what the limitations are, what to maybe expect in the future, um, and paint the picture of that whole experience. Give everybody that stops by your site a clear picture of who you are, what you do, why you do it. Um, you know, just listing general sales pitches is really a way of the past, and it's something that, um, you know, it's, it's really going to be hard to overcome when a lot of companies are being transparent and really harnessing who they are and what they do. Um, so I'll go ahead and wrap that up right there. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, be purposeful with everything you do and always remember to pre-focus.